Goodwill Community Foundation, creating opportunities for a better life. Sometimes you may have a video that you want to play during your presentation. Well, the good news is, you can add the video directly to one of your slides, so you can share it with the audience without having to leave PowerPoint. To get started, go to the Insert tab, then look for the Video command on the far right of the ribbon. From here, you can insert a video from the web, or one that's saved to your computer. In this example, we're going to choose the second option. Next, select the file you want, then click the Insert button, and the video will be added to your presentation. If the file size is very large, it might take a minute to finish uploading. Just like pictures, videos can be moved and resized any way you want. You can use the sizing handles on the sides or in the corners, and then just drag and drop. To preview the video, click the Play button here, and the timeline to the right will start advancing. If you want to jump to a different spot in the video, click anywhere in the timeline. Let's go ahead and pause for a second, so we can take a look at some of the options on the Playback tab. Here you can control things that have to do with the way your video is played. You can even do some simple editing. Say you only want to use part of the video, for example, not the entire thing. You can easily create an excerpt using the Trim Video command. Just look for the little green and red markers inside the dialog box. You can click and drag these to change the start and end times. I'm only going to use a few seconds from the middle in this case. When you're done, click OK, and the video will be trimmed to the excerpt you chose. You can also add bookmarks to the video, which you can use to jump to specific points during your presentation. All you have to do is click the timeline to mark the point you want to use, then click the Add Bookmark command, and a little circle will appear. You can create as many bookmarks as you want. Now you can just click each bookmark when you want to jump to that part of the video. By default, when you're giving your presentation, you do have to click the video in order to make it play. What if you want it to start automatically as soon as you get to that slide? Just come up here to the Video Options group, choose Automatically from the Start menu, and that's all it takes. You can also set the video to play full screen, loop until you stop it manually, and more. Finally, I think I'd like to make some changes to the appearance of my video. We can do that by switching over to the Format tab. These options are very similar to what you get when you insert a picture in PowerPoint. For example, watch how easy it is to apply a different video style, which can add a border and other effects to the video. Another thing you can do is choose a different poster frame. That's the image the audience is going to see before you start the video. In this example, we've already set the video to play automatically, so the poster frame doesn't really matter. It's something to keep in mind, however, if you're going to be playing your video manually. So I think we're all set. To preview the video, why don't we start the presentation from the very beginning. There, that looks great! As you can see, you don't have to be an expert to add or edit videos in PowerPoint. You just have to know how to use the tools, and you can do all kinds of interesting things.